Welcome back. Joining us now is Dr. Joshin of Contour Dermatology. And you're here to discuss a new FDA approved ointment for treating eczema. And you've been quite busy, I understand. You were one of the leaders in this study for this exactly. new treatment. Yes. So yes. what were some of the findings? Well, what was nice was, you know, the top main treatment for eczema is steroids. And a lot of people are steroid phobic a little bit. So this is a new um, product that actually is a natural element in, in the environment. It's called boron. And what we found was that almost 50% of the people actually got almost clear with just this medication. Wow. So it's the first monotherapy or you know single agent that can help with eczema that's been approved in a long time. Right, and I, I believe <clears throat> I read that this was the first one in maybe 10 years that's come out for a treatment for eczema, is that correct? Exactly, exactly. Wow, so. And they're calling this the decade of eczema, and that is because there's a couple new agents that are coming out. And eczema is something that if you have it, it'll drive you crazy, but there haven't been any new treatments in so long. Oh yeah, there's some images yes, right exactly. there that looks horribly uncomfortable. It looks horrible and it also, I like to point out, it itches like crazy. So if you suffer from this, it's not just the way it looks, which is very embarrassing, but it's also the way it feels because yeah. it can keep you up at night. You know, oh. I have patients that actually have said that they would wanted to kill themselves over this. Oh wow. Well, we certainly don't want that. How many people do you think suffer from eczema in the United States? Well, in young people, it's about 10 to 20% of the population. Wow, okay. And, um, you know, in the old days, we used to think that it kind of disappeared as you got older. But a lot of my patients, probably 20% of them, actually suffer from eczema. So it's a huge percentage of people that have this. What do you think it is about this specific treatment that makes it so effective? Um, you know, that's really hard to say. We know that it's a phosphodiester phosphodiesterase inhibitor. Which There's means, a tongue twister. You know, it doesn't mean that much to me, but we do know it's an anti-inflammatory okay. agent. And this is an inflammatory condition. So it's probably something you know to do with that. Now, a lot of people deal with dry skin in general, especially yes. when we're dealing with all this cold air coming through, everything like that. So you know, what are some quick fixes for people that maybe don't have full-blown eczema, but have some dry skin that they're dealing sure. with? And you know, living in the desert, it's super dry. And particularly this time of year when we have our heat on and the air is particularly dry. Um, what I'd recommend is using a cleanser called CeraVe. Okay. And the reason I like this cleanser is because it has natural oils in it. And one of the oils that we have in our skin is um, ceramides. And so this has ceramides. So it actually a helps to hydrate your skin while you're cleansing your skin. The other thing is you want to immediately after getting out of the shower, you want to pat your skin dry and apply a good moisturizer. Mm -hmm. And again, I like the CeraVe because it has the ceramides, which I said, and they're really nice for, for protecting the skin. So those are a couple things. You know, we can also say take shorter showers. Sure. I'm not a big fan of that. I, you know. <laughs> you like to enjoy your showers. <laughs> I like my warm, <laughs> long showers. So, you know, what we found is that if you actually pat yourself dry after your nice warm shower uh, and then hydrate immediately, you're going to be just fine. At what point do you say this is no longer just dry skin? In seasonal dry skin, it's eczema. Well, eczema has more of an inflammatory component to it. Okay. So if you see redness associated with it, if you have uh, water blisters associated with it, if you have severe cracking, severe itch, those kind of things, then it's something more serious. Well, wonderful. All good things to note and awesome research. Interesting new product. Very okay. cool. Our thanks to Dr. Joshin for joining us this morning, and we'll be right back with some more news and weather after the break.